Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today we're going to paint some of these jugs. Now this came um, from Tracy's Emporium, and I think it was about five pounds. It was like um, a kind of an aquary kind of duck egg colour, and I've just painted it in, let me show you, this paint here, Tiana from Fairy Chic. It's like a pink kind of colour. So it's had just one coat, so I'm going to go over it um, again when it's dry and um, give it another coat. Now I've bought this in from the house. This I've had for quite some time. It's had some flowers in it. I had it on my Welsh dress. I had it on my um, dining room table. And I'm going to paint this in the same paint. So it's going to give it a completely different look. And where you've got like the raised edge here, I'm going to distress that so you'll be able to see the writing come through and the colour will kind of pop and come through um, from the pink. So if you've got anything that's like this, you can paint over the top of it with um, the chalk paint and look for something that's raised that you can kind of sand down or distress down so that comes through. OK, so I'm just going to use the Fairy Chic paint and go over the top. Now, don't panic that it's all covered over. It will look great when I'm finished. And I really like the colour of this paint. If you want to know where to buy it, then I will put um, a link in the description down below. So I'm going to go all the way over it, let it dry and then give it another coat and then I'll be back with you. Right, I just want to show you, I've just given these another paint, so another coat of paint and um, that will be fine. So two coats will be absolutely fine for those. Um, once they're dry, we're going to start and distress them. So we're going to do two different things um, with them. This one we're going to sort of like sand down and bring out the pattern underneath. And this one, I think we're going to put some like decoupage on it, some napkins, that sort of thing, just to show you the different ways that you can um, kind of change them and brighten them up. So um, they've got to dry now and then we'll, we'll start and decorate them. Right, so it's time to distress them now. They're completely dry. They both have two coats of the uh, Fairy Chic paint. And um, I am going to seal them with this Mod Podge. Now, this is the exterior Mod Podge. So these can go outside. And hopefully, my plan is to put these outside in my garden. So I've got a little bit of a plan of how I want to kind of display them. So that will be coming up as time goes on on the channel so i've looked through my napkins i've got a stash of napkins here and if all goes to plan i'm going to pop one of these flowery um designs here on the side wet distress um with this other one i'm going to use a bit of rice paper not 100 percent certain which one yet but i think that looks really really pretty and i think that would look absolutely gorgeous on the front so that's my plan. I also wanted to show you this as well because I think that looks really sweet. Um, incidentally, I've got um, some plans in the pipeline. I've got a website which is coming up soon, um, which will be, um, I'm just looking at supplies at the moment. So you'll be able to buy chalk paints, uh, napkins, rice papers, that sort of thing. So um, you can recreate the projects that we see here on the channel so i'm going to start by doing this one first this one we're going to wet distress which means you just get like a wet um cloth or maybe a, a rag or something like that as long as it's sort of clean and lint free that'll be fine um baby wipes work just as well and we're going to wet distress it which means kind of rubbing over the surface and we're going to reveal some of the um the original sort of tin color underneath um you can sand it if you want to but it is a little bit more sort of messy if you do that. So I'm just going to get a wipe here. And because we haven't paint, uh, sealed the paint, it will allow us to wet distress it. If we'd sealed over the top, then we wouldn't be able to do this. Um, all we're going to do is very lightly to start with, just get the um, wipe and kind of rub it over. And because this is raised, then it's relatively easy to do. So, and the good thing about vintage and shabby chic is if you mess it up, you can just say that it was supposed to look like that. So, we'll just rub this round and you'll be able to read again what we've got underneath. And it's really nice because there's some nice detail here. And it's actually got the same writing on the other side. So, I'll, I'll do exactly the same thing on the back. So, it doesn't matter which way around you have the jug. So... I've had this jug for some time you can um still buy them i'm trying to think where i bought it from i think somewhere like home bargains it may have been that i bought it from 
Oh no, I'll tell you where it was. It was um, B&M. They sell things like this. So they've got all sorts of different ones. I did actually see some different designs in there the other day, but I thought I'd best finish the project I'm doing at the moment. So if you do want to buy these to, to do this to, then go to B&M to get them. So I'm sorry if you can hear some sniffing. It's actually the pug. She makes such silly sniffy noises it's ridiculous i don't know if you've got a pug and you can sympathize okay so it doesn't matter like there we've took a bit off but i think that looks really nice and you can kind of like go around the tin and sort of rub it off just so it looks like it's old and a little bit worn and that's just kind of the look that we're going for just sort of where maybe it would be worn and I'll just do a little bit around there. So I'm just going to do the same on this side now. I won't bore you with that because we've just done it and then I'll be back with you. Now, if you wanted to, you don't even have to put any other design on that because I think that looks really nice just itself. I love that. I think that looks really pretty. This pink's gorgeous. Pinks are very much part of uh, colour schemes at the moment like a, a light pink also blues are making a very strong appearance okie doke right so let's get our napkins now let me just move this out of the way so you can see my napkin stash there we go so <clears throat> they were once organised but they don't seem to be so much anymore <clears throat> excuse me See, that's really cute. That would look nice. Kind of in that top corner. I'm probably going to put one where I've distressed that, but that won't matter too much. So you want one that's going to obviously match your design and kind of the background. See, that's quite pretty as well, isn't it? But I'm going to stick with what I've originally got. Okay. So... To do it, we do our usual. I'm just going to roughly measure it and just to make sure that one's not too big. I'm just going to prepare it now. So all you do, if you haven't seen this before, is you get your brush and you very lightly and very carefully go around the edge. And this will give you like a frayed kind of effect. And you just pull it apart like that. And don't be afraid to have a go. My Facebook group is fantastic because so many people are having a go and they're putting photos on the group and everyone's so encouraging so if you do want to join it it's um, Becky's Crafts and Goodies on on Facebook so come and join in the fun we'll just do exactly the same all the way around this just keeping the main pattern there and you're just getting rid of the white bit that goes around the edge and then we'll stick this on. But I really do love this flower, as you can probably guess, because I've used it loads of times. So we've got our napkins going to separate them. All I did was lick my fingers and they just separate off for me. I know some people find it a bit tricky. But I'm going to use this um, to stick this on as well. Not my usual one, because obviously if it, if it goes outside, it will need to be um, the exterior one. So I'm just going to grab a paintbrush. Okay, so I've pulled the camera down a little bit for you. This looks thicker, actually, than um, the normal stuff. Feels a bit more gloopy. So I'm going to paste some of this Mod Podge on the side. I'm going up a little way up the spout because I'm not sure if it's got to go up the spout as Incy Wincy Spider did. Okay. Down on that. I've got my cling film at the ready and we're just going to splodge it on there now. Very carefully kind of pat it on with your fingers and because it's kind of going round an edge just sort of very gently encourage it to go round. Be careful doing this because sometimes it rips the napkin and then Get your cling film and kind of use that to uh, to 
hold it down. Now, probably people are going to say they preferred it without this. Personally, I like both, so I don't have a preference. I like them both ways. I do like a bit of floral, as you know. I mean, it is pretty close to the words there. Probably it could have done with being a little bit further away, but once you're down, you commit yourself, so you've just got to go for it, haven't you? just kind of like work that bit away and it's not too bad maybe it would have been better up there but i still like it anyway i still think it looks pretty cool so what i think i might do see something would look nice down the corner or we could put something that side so it's the same that's nice i like that i think that side's my favorite side i'll probably face it that way but that's really cool so don't worry about this part here where you can see like a different color because what we're going to do when that's dry is we're going to go over the whole of the jug with the um exterior exterior with the exterior paint and then that'll make it so it's safe to go outside because if you're using chalk paint and you're not sealing it with anything it's going to all run off it's going to you know wash off so you must remember to seal your chalk paint um, in whatever medium that you want to use. And because this is going outside, that's why I'm using this outdoor Mod Podge just to give it a go. Because I do like Mod Podge. It is, it is quite a cool medium to work with. So that's that one done for this stage. I'll pop that over there to dry. Let's have a look at these. I'm wondering whether to do this because I think that would look quite pretty on the front. But look how beautiful this is. I just can't decide i really 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 like them both and i think you need like a bigger picture on this but i think if you had some small designs i think it'd look a bit lost so that's why i think the shape and the size something bigger like either one of those i think would be the best option right i've gone for this one um and you will find like with with rice paper you'll see more of an edge when you're using napkins you can fray it and that's why we use the um the water and we kind of like fray it around um but when you're using rice paper that's not always as easy it gives you like a bit more of a crisp finish so you, you sometimes you can go over it with um actually when i need that bit let me just measure it yeah sometimes you can go over it with like paint on the edges if they're too crisp and sharp and then like this bit at the top if we're not using it i'll save that bit you see because i can use that again there we go that's really cute isn't it what we're going to do is stick that on the front and the decoupage is so much fun it's really um therapeutic as well it's just really easy to do uh, and it doesn't matter if you mess it up it really doesn't so we're going to get the same mod podge and we're going to stick this on so the rice paper is a bit stronger so if you wanted to you could put the mod podge on this and then stick it straight on i think it would as long as you didn't like soak it i think you, you could you could do that but i think i'm going to paste the um the jug i'm sorry about that pub snoring if you can hear her she makes such a lot of noise she really does i say it doesn't matter that you can see like the um the glue if it dries a little bit even though it will dry clear it'll dry a slightly different color because we are going to go over the whole lot anyway so you don't have to be so precise so let's pop this over the top and you probably won't have to use cling film with with rice paper because it is a bit stronger as i said you just go around but i really love it when you can do projects like this and they they come out looking cool without much effort if that makes sense like you don't want to you want something to look good but you don't want it to take like months to produce if you see what i mean it's nice to do things that look that look good pretty quickly um, I am going to go over it just with this now because it's been on for a few minutes so that bit of the side there is not quite stuck on but I really love this and this is going to go in my garden. I've got some crates, if you're on my um, my Facebook group you would have seen a picture of the crates um, that I got a while ago and um, I didn't need all of them so I did actually sell some of them and got my money back and turned a little profit on them. Um, I did save some and I'll probably... Um, be using those to um, put
put these on in the garden so we'll distress the crates because the crates are old ones they're not they're not new um so i'll be doing that and then we could put these on them in the garden so i thought i'd go for the outdoor from the off so we can um use them if we need to but i'm really pleased with both of those sorry not the camera then i'm really pleased with both of them i think they look really really sweet so all we've got to do now is um go over these again with another layer of the um the mod podge so i might start and go over these because this is kind of like tacky dry now and when i get to this part i'm just going to go really carefully but just put an extra layer on um i'll do the same for this just go over it with the um with the mod podge and then we'll be finished and then we'll we'll stage them mm -hmm. 